Now another little nifty thing that if you want to save on your memory from either your from the, either the internal memory or from your SD card if you want to move applications back and forth simply go to your uh, settings button and go to applications and then manage applications okay right it gives you several categories of what's currently running on your phone it'll give you what's on what's on your SD card right now all of your applications or what you have downloaded so for example if like here we'll use this one the nine millimeter SD now if they're dark like this then you cannot click on them so it only gives me the option to uninstall which I do not want to do so if I want to I'm trying to think of something that I can move right now this at planet market is currently stored onto my internal memory if I want to move it to my SD card all I have to simply do is right here where it says move to SD card go ahead and click it it'll be moving and right now it's on my SD if I want to put it back to my phone simply click move to phone it's moving and now it's on my phone again so this does not require root access um, I use this a lot on my prevail however now that I have so much internal memory and um, and my 2 gigabyte SD card I really have no use for it on the ZT warp so power to the warp for having all that internal memory however if you want more free space on either your internal memory or on your SD card you can either move or you can delete applications using this method. Hey guys, what's going on? Knoxville 363. Um, people after the update believe that you cannot still root your phone after you're on B08. Well, here's Titanium Backup. And if you don't believe me, if you do not root your phone, download Titanium Backup. And I guarantee you, once you open it up, you will not see anything and it's not going to work. Um, as you can see, obviously I have root access to my phone, otherwise I would not be able to go through all of these settings. It would just say that your phone does not have root access, so therefore you cannot use it. And to show you that I'm still on 08, I'll scroll down, and as you can see right down here, B08. So, and the next thing we're going to cover is getting your contact list at the Facebook pictures. Alright, now there's actually a couple ways you can do this. However, um, these are the ones that, how I got it to work, because mine would not do it before I updated. So, all you can do is you can simply open up your contacts, hit the menu button, the second one down here, and it'll say accounts. And it'll give you all of your accounts that are synced on your phone. Obviously, go ahead and select Facebook, and then make sure this mark is ticked right here okay and you can either do it that way or without having your contacts open you can simply hit your settings go to accounts and sync and it'll bring you to the same screen so that's another way you can do it now if that's still not working for you uh, make sure that you do the update on your phone to B08 and then I would um, go ahead and delete your Facebook application that you already have on your phone and you can reinstall it and when it gives you that option let me see here go to settings and on the bottom once you open up your Facebook application you can go ahead and, and this screen will pop up when you re-download it I go ahead and select sync all and then hit sync on the top so that is how I was able to get my Facebook contacts into my phone. If you're still having problems with it, feel free to leave a comment. And I hope this helped you guys out. And I made it very clear that you still can root your phone. So if you're worried about losing your root access after you update your phone, there's no worries. You can do it. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.